హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రవణ్ కుమార్ మంత్రి టెక్నికల్ ట్రైనర్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ సిఎస్సి గురుస్ నౌ ఇట్లీ విల్ గో టు ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ వెదర్ ద గివెన్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఈవెన్ నెంబర్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఇన్ జనరల్ వీ నో దట్ ఈవెన్ నెంబర్ మీన్స్ విచ్ ఈజ్ డివిజిబుల్ బై టు వెన్ యూ డివైడ్ ద రిమైండర్ మస్ట్ బీ జీరో ఇఫ్ నాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ ఆర్డ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ వీ వాంట్ టు ప్రింట్ ఎదర్ ఈవెన్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఈవెన్ ప్రింట్ ఇయర్స్ if not no you have to print so if i give 6 as my input print yes otherwise no so something why i have taken this question compared to the previous is in the previous addition of two numbers the output is something like a value here output is something like either yes or no true or false right so a boolean value so we are expecting the output as a boolean value in that case how do you want to do it that's what we can see here by writing a program so i'll start here void main so my input here is to get whether the given number is even or not i'll take int n whether the given number is a even or not i want to read it first scan of percent ld comma ampersand n once you read the number our expectation is whether the given number is even or not i want to write a function called as is even what is this function this function will take an input n and it tells us whether the given number is even or not if it is even this function will return 1 if it is not it will return 0 so let us take a variable called as f i want to assign this function to f now i'll keep a semicolon here let us see if the value of f if the value of f is equals to 1 i want to print of course i didn't define the even function i'll define i'll print yes else i want to print no so this is what we have to write basically that means if is even function has to be executed what is this is even it has to return either one or zero if it is one f value one one double equals one yes if it returns 0 0 double equals 1 no so it will print no let us see how to write that function so when you have a question like uh, to get whether s or no true or false 0 or 1 you have to write like this so this will be very easy to make it now uh, i want to write the function what it has to return my expectation a boolean value 0 or 1 anyway in other languages you have b boolean but here i am taking with respect to an integer either 0 or one what is the function name is even which takes our input value n it's up to you whether you want to take same n yes you can take now how can you say that a number is a even number so i'm writing here if you divide n with 2 the remainder is 0 which means it is a even number so i want to return what i want to return 1 so if not else i want to return 0 right so like this i can write which means let us suppose if i give n value 6 is even of 6 it will go and here it is 6 is that 6 percent to is 0 yes it returns 1 what is this value 1 f equals 1 1 double equals 1 yes if it is not 6 if it is something like 13 is that 13 comes here yes 13 percent to is 0 no else part return 0 so f value 0 is that 0 equals 1 no then it will print no so very simple you can make it like this this is what how to make it is even of course anyway i'll make little modifications don't close the video i'll make little modifications here yeah what is the error here anyway semicolon has to be outside the brace yeah so if i give something like seven yes it is no it's not an even number if i give something like 26 yes it is even number fine and of course here the thing is my question what if if i don't write here else will it be correct is it correct so the answer is absolutely right this is also not at all an error why because let us suppose if it is a even number let us take six six percent to is zero yes return one over it returns one never it will execute return zero is that right return one it goes to here and that's it never it comes to the function absolutely fine if i give seven is that seven percent will do is zero no 
so if condition is here it won't execute return 1 means counts out and gives return 0 which means it returns 0 f is 0 which means 0 equals 1 no it is odd number right so this is absolutely true sometimes when you write if conditions like this there is no else name name else is not required and also one more thing why should I take extra variable f like this I'll write is even function directly directly inside the function like this so if is even so like this is it correct absolutely you can see what it will do if is even function it will execute if it returns one so is even function value is one one double equals one yes true if not if it returns zero zero equals one no that is also fine and still even I cannot write this equals to if is even this is also absolutely fine because because is even of n if it returns one if of one means if of non zero is true so that's why it will print yes if it returns zero if of zero always false else directly it goes okay so if I execute this one you can see so if I give something like 25 it's no right perfect uh, if I take here something like okay 462 it is even completely yes that's it and also if you want to write the function declaration here it is optional even if you don't write also it is executed now if you want to write it absolutely you can make it so like this and at the end you can keep semicolon right this is also absolutely fine yes you can make it why not 678 which is even number so this is about how to write the functions and of course you need to remember return 1 and return 0 both won't be executed function always returns only one value remember this point always it returns only one value never it returns two values even if you write return a comma b it will return a only so never it will return more than one value so we'll see this program that is finding the prime number and how to get sum of prime numbers using functions in the next video lecture Thank you.